Hey everyone, I'm Luis from the Philippines. I'll be discussing sound as a physical phenomenon and how we perceive it with our hearing. Now I'm sure you've heard the philosophical question, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, did it make a sound? Well, hopefully by the end of this short lecture, we can answer that question. So let's begin. The most basic definition of sound is that it's a form of energy. This energy is associated with the vibration of matter, or, for the purposes of our discussion, the vibration of molecules of matter. So if I have, say, a speaker producing sound, the energy that it generates would make a piece of matter, for example this sheet of glass, it would make it vibrate. The mathematical description of this energy is given by this integral equation, but that's just for reference. Actually, computers make use of these mathematical expressions when sampling an analog waveform to come up with the energy at a certain point in time. In the physical world, the propagation or movement of sound energy is in the form of a mechanical wave. A mechanical wave requires a medium or matter to travel through because the movement of the energy cannot happen if matter molecules aren't displaced. And for a single medium, there are two types of waves, transverse and longitudinal. Let's look at both. If we imagine the air as a collection of particles, passing a transverse wave through these particles would displace them perpendicular to the direction of the wave, like so. And you can see that as the wave moves horizontally, the molecules displace vertically. Now note that this illustration is just for presentation purposes and is not really accurate because the sound energy coming from a speaker is not, in fact, a transverse wave. It's a longitudinal wave, which means that the displacement of particles is in the same direction as the wave. Visually, it looks like this. Now, the human ear is capable of detecting these displacements, and the brain interprets this as the sound, which we then experience as hearing. As the energy enters our ear canal, the bones inside transmit the motion to the cochlea. I'd like to show you an animation of what happens inside the cochlea. This is a free for educational use video. You can find it on YouTube and it shows the inner structure of the cochlea. Now it's coiled inside our ear as a sort of a shell shaped object. But if we unroll it and peer inside, we can see that it's basically a tube filled with fluid with a membrane running inside, which is the pink thing shown here. And depending on the properties of the sound wave, the corresponding area in the cochlea will vibrate with a certain intensity. Now this is precisely how a frequency is translated into tone and amplitude into loudness. This information is then transmitted to the brain by nerve endings attached to small hairs inside the cochlea. And we perceive it as the experience of hearing. And since sound waves are complex, this mechanism of the ear has evolved throughout the centuries to be able to perceive multiple sound waves transmitting simultaneously. So from the difference between the definition of sound energy and the experience of hearing, we can conclude that if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, it still makes a sound, because sound is just an energy form moving through matter particles. This concludes my presentation on the perception of sound. Personally, I found that I gravitate specifically towards the physical or mechanical phenomenon of sound, well because I have a background in engineering, and this type of thing naturally interests me. It's very important to me that I understand the fundamental facts about what is happening in the physical world. So I did my own research and I'm now forwarding my findings to the class as I described in the video. As an action step for you and to help me out in the future, please comment below regarding what you liked or disliked about my video. So thanks for watching and I'm excited to see the other assignment submissions as well. Until next week!